What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Welcome to a Hot Wheels live stream. I know it's been a while since we've done a Hot Wheels live stream, but I am back and we have got some really good cars to open up today. I'll let a few more of you join before we start opening up the cars and get started here. I know it takes a few minutes for the notifications to go out that I am live. So we'll give it a few minutes until then. Uh, you guys have been loving the colored Hot Wheels videos that I've done. How's it going? Thanks for joining everyone. Hey, 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 hi, 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 hi. Shout out to everyone. Um, you guys love the blue Hot Wheels car video that I did yesterday. I mean, the comments are already asking for all the colors. So, I went out today and I bought I bought some more bins. I couldn't find a yellow bin, as you can see. I bought a yellow bag, but I've got uh, white, we've got green, we've got red. Those ones will be coming up. Uh, the next one will be released on Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna try and do an orange one for Wednesday, I think, because it's Halloween coming up. I don't have an orange bin yet. Um, so we'll figure out something for orange, but other than that, we got all the colors coming out, so don't worry. I'm putting all my Hot Wheels all together. You can see on this side right here, right below me, I've got a bunch of white Hot Wheels I've been putting all together. So we're kind of, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I'm almost falling over on my on my, on my my chair here, on my little chair. I, I don't wanna fall over. All right, you guys, you guys. All right, uh, we'll let a few more of you guys join and then we're gonna open up some Hot Wheels today and I've also got some new Matchbox cars. So lots of good stuff to open up. Um, thank you everyone who have joined so far. Let's turn around and let's get this started here. I'm gonna flip the camera over and now I'll move my little chair down here so I can open up all these cars. We'll set the camera down so we can get a closer look. We've got the track in behind us. We've got some of the some of the weekly tournament cars behind us just kind of sitting there. I've just left them there for now. But uh, let's go ahead, let's open up some cars here as I'm dropping stuff behind me. Um, these are all the Matchbox ones that I picked up. Let's just go ahead. I'm not even gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna juke you guys. I'm not gonna show you them all right away until we get them open. Thank you everyone who have joined in. I see lots of you guys on, lots of you guys saying hi. Hi to everyone that have joined in. All right, first car will open up. Boom, this one. Got this one yesterday on a peg hunting thing. I've actually, I'm gonna do a, I have a peg hunting video coming up. Um, there's one tomorrow, there'll be one next week, and it'll actually have this car in there too. But uh, you guys get to see it opened up live today. So here we go, live today. Let's open it up. Mazda CX-5, and if you guys don't know, I had a CX-5 in real life before the cars that I own right now, and I love the CX-5, I think it's a fantastic car. So we're gonna open it on up. It's our first one, 2016 Mazda CX-5, there we go. And let's have a closer look at this CX-5, check it out. Does anything open on it? Nope, nope it doesn't, but the detail on this, wow, it's actually better than I thought. Check out the front of it, we got really, really nice Light tampa work on the front. Uh, the wheels are okay, maybe not a huge fan of, but the back of it does look really good. It's actually a really, really nice casting. Shockingly nice. Okay, I'm surprised with that one. That one's actually better than I thought it was. All right, another car that I had not found and I finally found it. I finally found it yesterday, the BMW i8, the Matchbox i8. That's one that I was really looking for, so I was super happy to finally have found that one. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Yes, Sam P, I know you were saying just the other day you said I didn't have the i8. I didn't, and literally the next day I went out and I found it. So there we go, Sam P, I got that one. Check it out. Pretty, pretty nice. I, I love the nice clear roof. Check out the clear roof. And you can see through. I didn't even notice that before. And then the colored kind of on the bottom right here. And wow, great detail to the front of this one too. Matchbox is really stepping up their game. I mean, you guys know I'm normally not a big Matchbox collector, but I've been buying a lot more Matchbox cars lately just because their cars are actually getting a lot nicer than they used to be. So the i8, yes, surprisingly very, very nice. All right, our next one, the Audi. Uh, I believe this is the RS2, is it not? Yeah, Audi RS2, so there it is. And I think they, they misprinted these ones on the bottom. So it says 94 Audi Avant RS2, there it is. Very, very nice. Yes, Matchbox definitely stepping up their game. This one too. Let's have a look at the RS2. We got some really cool Hot Wheels to open up in the back too. You guys can't see exactly which ones they are yet, but we got some really, really nice ones. So there is the RS2 Audi. Check out the, like again, amazing front Tampa work and stuff that they're doing on these Matchbox cars. Crazy, and does it say on the bottom? I'm gonna see what it says on the bottom. I heard a lot of people online were saying it says RS4. Um, RS6, it says on the bottom. That's what it is. RS6 Avant, it says on the bottom. 
but it's actually an RS2. I, I, I don't know what, what they're saying. It's kind of like a mistake of all the ones that they sent out, but what do you guys think? Is this an RS2 or is it an RS6? I don't know. I'm not a 100% sure. I don't know my uh, Audis that very well. Uh, you call the CX-5 racing. All right. Well, I'm, I'm hoping for the CX-5 to win racing too. That's going to be cool. Uh, RS6, RS2, RS2. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I, I, I don't know my Audis, but it could be either way. All right. Next one we got, we've got a Camaro convertible and this is a 2016 Chevy Camaro convertible. And I saw this one on the shelves, thought it was pretty neat. I like the, the sparkle paint job on it. That is an RS2. All right. I'll take your guys' word for it. I don't know. It's an RS6 or an RS2. One of the two. But there we go, there we go. We got the Camaro. Check out the sparkly paint on that Camaro. Very nice. That just shines in my lights. This is a pretty neat one though. Again, like look at the back tampa work that they're doing on these new Hot Wheels. Crazy good, crazy good. This is so cool. So cool. All right, all right, we'll put that one down. And uh, the last Matchbox car that we have to open up is a Tesla Model S. And this looks like a new casting as well. I'm not even 100% sure, but I saw it on the shelves and I was like, what? This is cool. So I had to pick that one up as well. Um, I love Tesla. I think it's a great company. So we picked up the Model S and the Model S, check out the roof as well. The see-through roof, great detail on that one. I'm gonna have to do a comparison between this one and the Hot Wheels variation, but this one does look really detailed. I mean, the only thing I say with Matchbox cars is you can tell that they're very plastic. The weight of them is not nearly as much as a Hot Wheels car. So kind of interesting, but I don't know. I think the detail on them is very good. So we'll stick with them. All right, we'll put that one back down here. So those are the uh, Matchbox cars. Let's get to the Hot Wheels cars that we're opening up. Which one should we do first? Let's do this one. Okay, we got, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping stuff on the track right here. We don't wanna have any sort of packaging on the track to actually interfere with our race that's coming up. All right, this one I got the Rise and Climb 50th Anniversary Edition. This is the different color variation for that. Um, so I'm almost completed my 50th anniversary set. I think I might actually have completed it now. I'll have to go back and look, but there we go. So we got that one right here, Rise and Climb. It's kind of like a burnt orange color. I really don't understand why Hot Wheels came out with the burnt orange color mixed in with their blue for the 50th anniversary set. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of weird. Kind of cool, but these wheels are really nice and we they've proven to be fast. So this, I don't know, if you guys think, who, who do you think is going to win the tournament today? We're doing a tournament of all the cars that we're opening up. So what do you think? What do you think? Do you think we can win with any of these cars? All right, let's see, let's see. All right, let's put that down and let's pick up the next one here that we got. Ooh, this one is very nice. We've got the Nissan Skyline GTR and this one says BNR33. B BCNR33. I'm not even sure what that means. Any of you JDM fans, what does actually that mean? BCNR33. To me, it just looks like an R33. But yes, it is a 2019 car. I got a couple of different 2019 cars, but this one is awesome. Love it, love it, love it. So many good JDM cars for 2019. So if you're a JDM car fan, uh, then there's a ton of really good cars coming up, but check it out. Check out that. Do you check, check out the paint on that. Check it out. I believe it's a race version. All right, I'll take your word for it. Maybe it is the race version, but just, just look at the sparkle in that paint job right there. There we go. GTR, very, very nice. By, by number car R33. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for the clarification, guys. You guys know so much more than I do sometimes. All right, there we go, there we go. We got the, the BNR33. All right, what do we have next? What do we have next? Let's open up. up, 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 up. I got one up here that you guys I know are gonna like. There we go. We've got the new color of the Reventon, the green Reventon Roadster. Wow, this thing is an absolute beauty. What do you guys think of that one? What do you guys think? Ooh, okay, let's open it up, let's open it up. I know, exciting, I can't believe I found this car. This car is awesome, check out that green. This green looks so perfect on it, but if I look actually at the front, is that an air on there? Is my stripe not complete? Maybe it isn't, I didn't even notice that, but that's cool, okay, okay. So I got kind of an air one, but this one is really, really cool. The green, I don't know, yeah, the green, it's it's maybe a bit lighter than it should be, I mean, when it comes to actually correctness of a car, but I, I don't know, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. And, and we're getting a lot more sparkly stuff on these, so pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. I do like it, I do like it. Looks really good from the front. Nice tampa work on the front headlights as well. 
There we go. There we go. All right. All right. We'll put that one down. And next up we've got, let's pick up this one here. New color for the Jeep Wrangler. And this is one of my favorite castings. I really, really like this casting. I'm not even a big Jeep fan in real life, but the new, the, the Jeep that they came out with, this 2017 Wrangler looks awesome. And this is now our third color variation of it. We got a red one. We got a green one. Now we've got this one right here and check it out. This one is nice. I do like it. Oh, I just love this casting. I just really, really like this casting. I think they just did an excellent job on it. Excellent, excellent, looks good. Maybe we could have used a little bit of tampo stuff on the front, but other than that, it looks great. There it is, check it out from the back as well. How's it going everyone? Thank you very much for joining guys. Thank you very much for joining. Okay, let's put that one down. And, and after that, we'll do this one as well. We've got the 2015 Land Rover Defender Double Cab, and this is a new color variation of this one as well. This is our third color variation of this one. So very, very cool looking. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We'll see what we got on this. There we go, check it out. It's more of like a camo, it's kind of like a dark camo, but it's 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 a matte finish paint job to it. I think it's pretty nice, I do like it. I like the blacked out wheels on it, looks good. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like a matte finish camo on this one. So I think this one's gonna be pretty good, it's gonna be popular, I do like this one. Thumbs up for that one. If you guys are just joining in, smash the thumbs up. If you like unboxings, if you like new castings like I do, let's get some likes on the video. There we go, there we go. Everyone's liking it. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate that. All right, next up, ooh, this one you guys are gonna like. You're gonna like it. The Demon Zamac Edition, the Zamac Edition. Check it out, check it out. 2018 Zamac Demon, yes, this one is awesome. Let's go ahead and pop it open as well. And all these cars are racing down the track today, so stay tuned, guys. All the cars that you guys are seeing on box, we are doing a tournament race right after I finish unboxing them. We've got a couple more cars left, but check out the Demon, wow. Zamac Demon, I love the Demon. I, I know you guys love it too. This has been one of the very, very popular castings How's it going, everyone? Thank you very much for joining. I see a lot of you guys on that I know, and you guys also join in on my live streams on my gaming channel, so thank you very much for that. But check it out, the Demon Zamac. All right, all right, that's gonna be racing down the track shortly as well, and we'll open up this one here. We've got another Zamac car. We've got the 2016 Honda Civic Type R Zamac Edition as well. There we go, there we go. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We'll see, we'll see what this one's all about. There it is, the Zamac Civic. Yes, this one looks cool. And we've we've already seen like three colors of this one before, but this one I think is really nicely detailed. I'm not even a big Honda Civic fan in real life, but I think this casting looks pretty cool. I mean, check out the front. Type R, the Honda logo, great tampa work on it, even on the back. Not, not too much detail on the back. I feel like they put a lot of effort in the front, but the back, meh, meh, it's okay, it's okay. The spoiler looks pretty cool though. Is Moto Type R Hot Wheels. Cool casting though, cool casting. All right, last but not least today, we are unboxing the 2009 Ford F-150, and this is a Zamac car. It's also part of the 50th anniversary set. There it is. And uh, will this one be as fast as, uh, as as our champ car? What do you guys think? Do you think this one will be fast? I mean, every color and stuff is different, especially the Zamax. So it might be a lot slower, it might be a lot faster. We'll have to see, but let's go ahead and pop it open. F-150, you think the F-150 will take the win today? We will see, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It could be, it could not. But there it is, Zamax Edition F-150, it's the number 13. Very, very cool casting. Check it out on the top, the back of it. Very, very nice. Yes, and these wheels, these these wheels have proven to be fast. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be hard. Zamac is a bit heavier. That's why you think it might win. All right, we'll see, we'll see. You'll you, Sam P's still got the CX-5. We'll have to check it out. We'll have to see what it is. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, all right, all right, cool. All right, we'll put that one down. There we go, okay, let's go, let's have a closer look at all of them here together. I'm just gonna move the camera and I should probably clean this up because I'm, I've just been tripping on everything today. So let's go ahead, we'll clean these all up here. We'll put this, we'll put it in the white bin here. There we go, there we go. I don't wanna be tripping over that stuff too. We got some racing to go here. All right, there we go, let's get this. Make sure the track's clean. There's all of our cars today. So we got all the matchbox are kind of up front here. Whoa, 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 these guys are all trying to take off here. But uh, what do you guys think? What's your favorite car that I've unboxed today? Favorite car, favorite car, what do you guys think? Hmm, 
If I were to pick a favorite, ah, me personally, if I were to pick a favorite, I don't know. There's just so many good ones. Mm, I like the Matchbox i8s. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many good cars that we unboxed today. All right. All right. Let's line them up. Okay. Let's get some Hot Wheels. Let's see. Let's do Hot Wheels here. We're going to put them over here, actually, so we don't interfere with the track. We got some more cars all down there ready to race as well. Uh, we'll do... We'll mix them up. We'll do Hot Wheels and Matchbox. How about that? So we can get some... We'll get some mixed races here. And we've got, I think we have 13 cars, if I'm not mistaken, that we opened up. Uh, oh, no, the Audi. The Audi's dropping on the ground. Is that going to affect its racing? We'll see. Okay, Audi, you're going on the track right away anyways. There we go. Audi's on the track. And let's do Hot Wheels and Matchbox. And then Hot Wheels and then Matchbox. Let's do that. Let's do, let's do five of them first. I don't know. I'm just thinking five. Why not? Why not? Actually, you know what? Let's do four. Let's do four. How many do we have here? We've got one, two, three matchbox and two Hot Wheels. Let's take away one matchbox. All right, let's do four for the first race. And then our next race, let's do two, two Hot Wheels, two matchbox. Then we'll do matchbox, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Hmm, that's a lot of Hot Wheels in that one. Uh, maybe we'll have to switch up Hmm. Nope. There's not enough. All right. That's just how it's going to be. It's just going to have to be like that. All right, guys. So what do you think? First race, we got the, uh, the, the RS2 or RS6. We, I don't know. I don't know what we decided on that one. One of the two, we got the demon. We've got the CX-5. Oh, I love the CX-5. Love the CX-5. And then we got the civic. So who do you think is going to win our first race? Who's going to win the first race? What do you guys think? The Audi, the demon, the CX-5 or the civic? Hmm. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. Let's find out. Let's find out here. Let's give me one second. Sam P. Sam P. I'm putting you as a mod as you mod my other stream. So thanks, Sam P. There we go. All right. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, it was the demon. It was the demon that takes the win. The demon. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. We'll put the demon here. We'll put the losing cars over up here. There we go. There we go. The demon moves on. I, I look at how happy you guys are. You guys are happy for the demon. Loving the demon. Yes, the demon is good. All right. All right. Race number two. Uh, we've got Matchbox, Matchbox. And you know what? Since there's not enough Matchbox in that one, let's switch this one for a Hot Wheels. We'll put... Uh, I don't even know if the Jeep fits on the track. So we'll, we'll use the Jeep here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Is everyone there? Everyone's good. Everyone's there. Here we go. Okay, is the Jeep going to fit? Whoa, the Jeep just wants to off-road. Yeah, the Jeep fits. Okay, we got the i8 and the BN B C B N C R 3 I don't know what it is. Whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. Jeep doesn't fit. Yeah, Jeep fits. It does. It does. It's actually it's it's pretty pretty close, but it does fit. All right. So we got uh uh, what was this one called again? I can't remember. Rise and Climb. That's right. Rise and Climb, R33, I8, and we've got the Jeep. Sorry about the lag, guys. I, I, see, I think some of you guys are saying that there's lags. There's really glitchy. Oh, hopefully we can get some of the, the internet going here. We'll give it a few seconds here. We'll let the, the race go. Is it still lagging? Is it still lagging? All right. All right. We're going to race. We're going to go. We're going to go. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, it is the, the R33. Oh, uh, sorry about the lag, guys. Sorry about the lag. R33 takes the win. It's not lagging anymore. Okay, good, 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 good. Not lagging anymore. Okay, sorry, guys. Sorry about the lag. I don't know what's going on with the internet. We'll have to leave it there. But it is the R33 that takes the win. Skyline takes the win. Skyline joins the demon now. Ooh, that's, that's a good finals. That's a good finals. All right, we're going to get one more car in the finals. Um, I don't know. Are we going to get a matchbox in the final? We've got two matchbox included in this race. So we got... We'll mix them up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. F-150 is trying to go. Reventon Tesla. And then we've got the Camaro and the Land Rover Defender Double Cab. All right, who's going to win this race, guys? Who is going to win it? What do you guys think? Is it going to be the Land Rover Defender? Is it going to be the F-150? Is it going to be the Tesla? Is it going to be the Reventon? Or is it going to be the Camaro? So we got Matchbox, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. What do you guys think? Reventon, Camaro? 
Ooh, Raventon F-150. I don't know. It, I, I don't know. F-150 is kind of the one that's questionable because is it going to be as fast as F-150 the champ? I think it might be. I think it might be. We'll see. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, it is the F-150. Yes, F-150. F-150 takes the win. All right, all right, all right. We'll put uh, we'll put these ones back. Put that one back. Put that one back. There we go. F-150. So our finals, we've got a good finals. Check it out. Check it out. We got a really good finals coming up. All right, we'll put them down here. There we go. How should we do the finals? Let's put the F-150 in the middle. How about that? F-150 in the middle. I'll do a hand one here just so the F-150 doesn't get... Uh, hit by the actual starting line. We've got the Demon. We've got the R33. Let's check the track. Make sure that there's nothing on the track. Make sure that everything's good on the track. Everything looks nice and clean and good. All right, guys. What do you think? F-150 the champ or F-150 not the champ? F-150 is not the champ. The champ is right here, actually. So I don't know. If this F-150 wins, maybe it will race the champ. But I don't know. I don't, I don't think it. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be hard to say. Okay, we got R33, F-150, or the Demon. What do you guys think? Who's going to take the win? Is it going to be F-150? Ooh, this could be close. This could be close. Here we go. F-150, not the champ. Yes, maybe. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, it's close. It is the F-150, though, that takes the win. F-150, not the champ takes the win there you go good good call on that but i think we got to race the zamac f-150 against the champ i think it's only fair that we do that let's take the champ right here and it's possible we could get a new champ here you guys are saying that the zamac one is heavier so it's possible that the zamac f-150 could take out the regular f-150 this is going to be interesting this is going to be interesting what do you guys think Will the blue one stay the champ, or is it going to be a new champ today? Can we get a new champion today? Only one time we've gotten a new champion live, and that was with F-150 the champ beating out Cadillac the champ. But I don't know. Blue or Zamac? What do you guys think? Blue or Zamac? We're going to do best of three, so we'll switch them. So even if this one wins this race, we're still going to flip them around and do another race. It's best of three to take the champ out. we got to make sure it's fair just in case one car gets a good start at the beginning. All right, I'm going to do it with the hand on here just to make sure it's nice and even. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, F-150 the champ. Still the champ right there for that race. We're still flipping them though. We're still flipping them. So Zamax still has an opportunity to take the champ away. But there you go. The blue one takes the win in the first race. All right. So lane two is Zamax now. And in lane five, we've got the blue one. What do you guys think? You knew the blue was going to win, but you know what? The blue might still take a loss here and I'll have to go into a third race to decide. Let's find out. Zamax or blue? Zamac or blue? The champ is the MVP. Blue will retain. Ooh, this is going to be close. Here we go. Will this be the final race or not? Will it be the final race? On your mark. Get set. Go. There we go. F-150 the champ. Stays the champ. Sorry. Sorry, Zamac edition. You can join your crew of cars that we unboxed today, but you are the loser. And we got the champion here. F-150 champion, F-150, I've got him on this, this little uh, wall right here, actually, i got to make this a little bit straight here. So we've got the champ on the top right here, then I've all got the 2018 Super Treasure Hunt, and then I've mixed in some of the uh, 2018 Hot Wheels 50th set. I don't have all of them here just because they don't all fit, but there we go. There you go, it is still the champ. Zamax still the champ. Um, but yeah, if you guys are just joining in the stream or you joined in late, um, I talked about the colors that I'm doing. So you guys love the blue color video that I posted yesterday. So I went out today, I bought some more boxes and we got more colors coming up. I think, like I said, I think I'm gonna try to release orange next just because Halloween's coming up. You know, I gotta stick with the Halloween theme, but I don't have an orange box. Got white, we got green, we got red. I couldn't find a yellow box, so I got a yellow bag. So I've got those videos coming up in the future. I've got cars literally scattered everywhere around my studio right now. It's a mess. You can see even on the wall, there's a bunch of cars that are missing from my displays. That's because I've taken them all out so we can do the colored videos. We got some tournaments coming up. 
There's so much stuff planned. So thank you guys for your support on the Peak Time Racing channel. And if you guys are not subscribed to PTR Gaming, PTR Gaming, search that or check out the links in the description box below. But I, I go live at least five times a week on my gaming channel. And that's where a lot of you guys can join in. I talk with you guys, I can ask you questions. Sam P, you always join in with me. I know you're always there. X Gaming, I saw you on there as well. You guys are always joining in. So thank you very much for your guys' support. If you're not subscribed to that channel, subscribe, we'll chat on there. But thank you very much. Smash that thumbs up, guys. And I will catch you on the next live stream. Bye-bye.